you. You can die right now. My question to you is, what are you leaving behind? Will your children marvel at or will they despise the choices you made for life? Oh. You can die right now. What are you leaving behind? Hi, my name is Pongom, and no, I am not okay. I could write about it, talk about it, but those things will never change the fact that I am not okay. I've done not so bad for a 24 year old to quit school at 15, told mama I'll make a plan. Four years later, I started on point, bluer than the skies, always pointing upwards, cause see, the goal is more growth, like mother nature said. But no, I am not okay. Forgive me if I cry in front of you right now. I do not mean to disgrace the African men. See, I can't keep locked inside all of this pain. This voice is a brush. Please allow me to paint a picture so sexy it will bring orgasms to your brain. Pictures <laughs> of beautiful portrays all of the African women who brought out the courage and broke out of the system, telling a girl story that goes far beyond the kitchen, telling a girl story that goes far beyond maternity what is embracing their natural beauty the same way it does other women. Did you know? Blacks make up 12% of the American population, but they consume more than 70% of American hair products. That's a statistic I found the other day, but it will never change the fact that I am not okay. Back to me, I am not okay. I do believe with daily practices, I will be okay, honestly. I practice this and if you think it's not good enough, then yeah, yeah, that is okay. After all is said and done, your opinion will never change the fact that I am not okay. I could write about it, talk about it, sing about it, even rap about it. But if I'm one who is not dedicated, if I dream and I apply no action, I will forever slave behind these mental cages. I will forever blame it on my upbringing. I will forever blame it on the economy. So hell yeah, I practice this. I may not be okay, but I am practicing. If one day I do take my life, just know that I practiced it, both in the mental and in the physical. Oh. I think I've said too much on practicing. You might not be okay, but please start practicing. Peace. They say I have a lot of pent up rage. <laughs> and I'm starting to think it's true. I found catharsis writing lines on a page, but my poetry turned angry too. But this anger is mine for keeping. It's been decades in the making. It's really nothing new. I come from a long line of angry men and women who never had a clue. They carried a world on their shoulders, but the world never paid its due. Time can smother flames or kindle fires. And so the pyre of my anger grew for 100 years of indignation to live up to. I carry the indignation of my fathers which history glossed over the mention, handed olive branches full of thorns, courtesy of colonial jurisdiction. France and Britain, like knife and fork, cutting the Middle East into submission with a side of imperialist indulgence and a pinch of lies of omission. It's been a hundred years of casualties from the plague of, bene of benevolent invasion ever since they carved our borders with a crooked hand of benediction. Men have danced around the fire of their meddling imposition and my mothers and fathers have been pawns in their games of greedy ambition. I also carry the indignation of my countrymen who learned all about eloquence by serenading stolen lands and singing songs of resistance because pain translates in every language with universal equivalence. Though some translate our pain to a minor inconvenience, 
settlers claim our homes as their own and pretend they want coexistence. So on the top of the pedestal where they deny Palestinian existence, diplomatic clowns invoke human rights, could have fooled me for the poster child of innocence, right until our ethnic cleansing is issued at their convenience. You'll find our blood to be as stubborn as we are when washed off of conscience. And don't you forget, we learned to be angry long after we learned resilience. These shoulders carry 100 years of indignation, but never once have they gone askew. And I owe that to my mothers and fathers who for once get the recognition they are due. And I may have a lot of pent up rage, but it's really nothing new. Mm. I come from a long line of angry men and women, and my anger is long overdue. Thank you. Woo!